Taylor Swift's re-release of her 1989 album is officially on its way to your ears. The multi-hyphenate musician announced on August the 9th during a concert of Sophie Stadium in Inglewood, California, that the next Taylor's version re-recording will be of her 1989 album, which was originally released on October 2014. During the surprise song portion of the show at 11 p.m. PT, Swift announced to the audience that she was going to re-release the 1989 album before launching into a rendition of New Romantics. She gestured to the screen behind her, which showed the new art for the record and added that it will drop on October the 27th. A few minutes later, Swift's official social media accounts shared the news as well. The 1989 album changed my life in countless ways, and it fills me with such excitement to announce that my version of it will be out October 27, she posted. To be perfectly honest, this is my most favorite re-record I have ever done because the five from the vault tracks are so insane. I can't believe they were ever left behind, but not for long. Each of Swift's new versions of her classic albums has featured several new songs from the vault that didn't make the original cuts. Swift has been re-recording and releasing her first six albums in a mission to fully own her music. Big Machine Records sold the masters from the first six albums in 2019 to Scooter Brown, who later sold them to a private equity firm. Swift was vocal about her disapproval of the sale and announced that she would re-record all those albums she initially made with Big Machine.